Numbers 20. Um, and this starts off as a situation where the Israelites um, arrived at the desert. Um, and we'll start at verse 2. <clears throat> so it says, Now there was no water for the community, and the people gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron. So mind you, these are the people that um, God delivered out of slavery. He parted the Red Sea, fed them and clothed them uh, all this time. So they were in opposition to Moses and Aaron and they quarreled with Moses and said, if only we had died where our brothers fell dead before the Lord. Why did you bring the Lord's community into the des this desert? that we and our livestock should die here. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to this terrible place? It has no grain, figs, grapevines, pomegranates, and there's no water to drink. <clears throat> so like I said, he bought them out of slavery and parted the sea, saved their lives, and they want to eat pomegranates back in the... Um, the slavery uh, dens they were there. So just talking about, you know, we should be grateful <clears throat> for, like Ponce said, for, for the way the Lord has us. Um, I mean, you even got Brother Thing, he's grateful and, and facing the uh, persecution and opposition to things that they are in their country. And we have so many freedoms and we should just be grateful. Well, the Lord has bought us out of. The Lord has delivered us from, I'm sure, in all our lives. He's parted some seas, moved some mountains for mm -hmm. all of us. That's why I'm sure you brothers are here tonight. Um, you can testify to that. So and, and in response to that, you know, they were playing to Moses. Verse 6, Moses and Aaron went from the assembly to the entrance of the tent of the meeting and fell face down, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. So what do you do when you face opposition? Go to the temple. Fall face down. You know, we um, we have, uh, you know, a pandemic. Go to the temple. People losing their jobs. Go to the temple. Facing racial discrimination. Go to the temple. Social injustice. Go to the temple and fall down and pray to the Lord. So the Lord said, take this staff, verse 8, and you and your brother Aaron gather to send me together, speak to that rock before your eyes, and it will pour out its water. You will bring water out of the rock for the community so they can, and their livestock can drink. So what a moment for Moses to show the glory of the Lord. The Lord gave him a way to say, you know, you just go speak to the rock in my name and to glorify the Lord. And, you know, what an opportunity to do that. So verse nine, so Moses took the staff from the Lord's presence, just as he commanded, he and Aaron gathered the family together in front of the rock and said to them, listen, you rebels, must we bring water out of this rock? I don't recall the Lord telling him to do that. <laughs> Um, he went to the rock. Well, I was like, what a moment, what an opportunity to um, just give praises to God. He already set it up. He said, oh, you do speak to it. Say, you know, water come out. And he could have played that up and just had, you know, all the glory given to the Lord. But Moses raised his arm and struck the rock twice and the staff water gushed out. The Lord still allowed the water to come out and the community and the livestock drank. But the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, because you did not trust in me enough to honor me as holy in the sight of the Israelites, you will not bring this community into the land I give them. So, you know, sometimes you know, the Lord tells us to do things. We go and do it, but it's the method in which we do it. So, you know, he went there to get water out of the rock, but then he used aggression and didn't do what the Lord said, you know, and did not make the promised land, you know. 
some people look at that, well, it's only just a small detail, but, you know, we need to pay attention to the details and to pay attention to the word of God. I relate that to me coming to Sacramento. Now, my wife wanted to come here. I did not. I didn't want to come here. All right. So, but the Lord commanded me to do so. Now, I could have begrudgingly told my wife, you know, Lord wants to do it. I don't want to do it, but whatever, let's go. Because you want to be with your kids. All right, let's go. But no, I, I said, okay, Lord. And, you know, because the Lord asked me to love my wife as Christ of the church. I did it. And the Lord brought me to the promised land for doing what he told me to do. He just said, go. Like told Abraham, go. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going and have no, you know, well, we had, you know, I had the house and everything lined up, but, you know, I didn't know what I was in for. I didn't have a, a job, left my job, left my friends. And I still have my friends looking at you guys and acquired many more. So um, just to say, when the Lord asks you to do something, do it with a, you know, good heart. Um, trust the Lord that he is going to um, put you in a better place. He was going to Moses, you know, 40 years, going to put him in the promised land. But no. But later on in, in, what, in John, Matthew, he does come back again, Moses. But at that time, you know, he, he wasn't allowed to go. And it's because of his, his uh, attitude and his methods. I mean, it's just a great opportunity. You know, that's, you know, I was saying the other week, the mission statement. What a great opportunity to love the Lord your God. Everything you do, I should be pointing to that. Um, you know, outside of that, it, things aren't going to go well for you. So, uh, our church is in is doing this series. So that kind of really uh, touched me when, from this this uh, section right here. Yeah, it sounds amazing that <clears throat> that God's people can complain that way. And we can look at them and say, like, I can't believe it that they were once slaves and they're thinking you know, that that life was better than being free, even though they're in the desert, you know, getting mm -hmm. whooped, getting killed, um, being told when you can and can't have a break. They work all day long. Man, um, get a break. <laughs> yeah, no breaks, right? Uh -huh. And now that, now that they're free, because they're in the desert, <clears throat> And they're having some problems. They're wishing that they can go back to slavery. And so we look at them and this, with, with disbelief. But there's countless, you know, countless brothers and sisters who go back to their old lives. You know, today we call it backsliding, but, you know, it just, he sets us free. And then problems happen. And we go back to our, our, our former lives. The Bible tells us to do all things without murmuring and complaining. And these guys here are, are not are not doing all things, you know, without murmuring and complaining. And do we find ourselves murmuring and complaining? You know, that's why I I see what's happening to thanks country. Gotta be so thankful. You know that ain't nobody turning off. You know. We're free to talk. We're free to have this Bible study online. We're free to communicate. You know, on, on Facebook, I can share anything I want about Christ and no one's shutting me down. Um, yes, we, we, we should be very thankful. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, <clears throat> instead of reacting to our th circumstances, you know, we need to trust in the Lord. And that's what, you know, Walk by faith, not by sight. You know, everyone's react. Everyone's reacting to what's going on. You know, violence in the street. It's all in the church now, because there's violence in the street. Um, you know, <laughs> I like what Moses and there. What they went to do, you know, mm -hmm. fell on their face, but they didn't carry it out. But that's what your your first reaction to be should be is to uh, seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. Going back to verse six, I like the way you brought up uh, Moses and Aaron, what they did 
during their their stressful time you know they went to the to the assembly and into the tent and they fell on their face to pray and you're right what do we do when we're facing a marriage problem let's go fall on our face and pray what do we do when they tell us we're sick fall on our face and pray these are things we should be we should be imitating Moses and Aaron you know um yeah, last night I had a great conversation with another brother, and uh, him and his wife have, have split up. And that's what that, that's what we uh, that's what he came came to do, saying that he's going to fast and pray. He's going he's to stand strong and 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 pray to the Lord, and, and perhaps the Lord will change hearts. And you know, instead of running off and doing you know going back to Egypt, he's uh, going to fall on his face and pray. That's very encouraging. But yeah, this is a great reminder of what we should do. It reminds me of King David. When King David had problems, he would run to God and he would pray. He would find his strength in the Lord. And this is great for us too. You know, sure. during this pandemic, what should we be doing? Go into the temple, fall on our face and pray. You know, whatever situation we get. I love that Rudy sent, Rudy sent out a, a prayer request today. And, you know, that's what we're doing. We're, we're praying to the Lord because it's only God that can do things. You know, so uh, All right. we believe. God, it's God's powerful hand. And when things happen like today, you know, the peace that God gave Rudy during the dentist, we praise the Lord afterwards because the Lord gave him peace. Hallelujah. All right. So uh, praise God for that. Thank you for the reminder. That's what we should be doing. Hallelujah. Yes. With this scripture remind on me also, I remember the past what we have we are we was in the past time also. And one thing uh, we are living in dictatorship long time. Yep. I see. And then I think we have freedom a little bit only five years, not yep. five years. Yes. The time I remember how Moses and his people Israel, how God delivered him from the Egyptian. I think so. I believe that God will do the same for us also. He just now that Brother Ponson, he read the uh, verse 6. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of assembly and to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. They fell upon their faith, and the glories of the Lord appeared unto him. God glory appear unto them. Same God will do for us. I do believe that. Thank you. Amen. Amen.